Well, let me tell you something now because I'm going to change your beliefs about something. Now, if you actually sit down and listen to what I'm going to say with an open mind, then I think that I can actually change your mind for the better. You'll be benefited in a way that you can't really comprehend right now. Because currently, you're trying to, you might be typing in the comment section, or you might be ready to disagree with everything I have to say. Ready to say, oh, he's wrong there. That's a logical fallacy. There will not be any logical fallacies in this video. I'm going to give you science-based evidence. Mesh that together with common sense. And I'm going to tell you straight to your face that relaxation is not a good thing or at least the way that you think of relaxation. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now the difference between what I think is relaxation and what you think is relaxation. Now, some relaxation is okay. I'm not saying that all relaxation is bad. In fact, relaxation is incredible. But what do you think that relaxation is? Do you think that relaxation is scrolling on TikTok and YouTube? Do you think that relaxation is watching porn at the end of the day? because you need to alleviate your nerves? Do you think that? Because I'm going to tell you why the way that you think of relaxation is absolutely not relaxation. And in fact, it's the exact opposite. What do you think relaxation is? If I walked up to a random person on a street, like an absolute normal person, they would think that relaxation would be cozying up and watching TV. Or I like scrolling on my YouTube. I like taking self-care days where I just go on my phone for 10 hours and I don't really punish myself for the things that I do bad. That is absolutely a self-care day, yep. No, you are absolutely punishing yourself. And you are drastically reducing your productivity for the next couple days. You are dramatically re reducing your motivation. You're drastically reducing your happiness. Your fulfillment. You know what a true self-care day is? An incredibly productive day. Okay, I haven't... I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't explained anything yet. I'm going to explain it to you. Do you really think that you're relaxing by watching YouTube or TikTok? Do you really think that you're relaxing by doing these highly stimulating activities? Because truthfully, if I'm going to explain it right to your face, you are not relaxing and your brain is not nearly in a relaxing state. It's not even close to a relaxing state. It's actually hyper stimulated. That's why when you get off your phone, you're way more irritable. You're way more angry at the world or sad and you're never productive after you get off your phone, after a relaxing session. Your relaxing session should be giving you more energy. Your relaxing session should be helping you be more productive throughout the day. It should be rejuvenating your brain. It shouldn't be absolutely destroying it. You see, we have something called dopamine baselines. I don't know if you've heard this yet. Dopamine baselines are the baseline that you're at throughout the day or how long it takes for you to change this baseline. How do you change a baseline? Well, here's how. You experience, you experience a dopamine spike every time you scroll on TikTok, every time you see a YouTube thumbnail, every time you ejaculate. You experience a massive peak. What comes with every peak? A trough. And with every massive dopamine spike, you stay at that trough. And if you don't know, dopamine is a huge deliverer of motivation. Dopamine is what creates our motivation. And when you're at this base level, do you really expect to be motivated? Now imagine if you keep scrolling, if you jerk off 30 minutes after you just did, well, up, down further. And it's just this constant whoop this constant loop, this never ending cycle of you thinking that you need more and more dopamine, but truthfully, you're not filling a hole, you're creating one. You are creating a problem. You are not solving it by going on all these things. 
I hope you understand that. I've said in a lot of my videos that you think, you think that your life is something to be escaped, don't you? You think that your life isn't fun enough and that you should just go on YouTube. Well, if you're going on YouTube, then basically it's true, even if you're not willing to admit it, that your life isn't good enough. Because if your life was good enough, well, then you wouldn't be going on YouTube now, would you? It's for education, fair enough. But on TikTok, video games, all these different things, you genuinely think that your life is something to be escaped with all these technologies. But when you get off these technologies, life becomes something that doesn't need to be escaped. Do you understand that when you cut out all these things, your life actually becomes enjoyable? All these dopamine spikes, all these dopamine troughs, you don't experience any of them anymore. And in fact, when you're doing the hard things, trough goes above baseline when you complete that seriously difficult thing. See, you don't need all of these stimulations, all these fake stimulations to actually be happy. All what you need is a consistent high baseline and you'll be more motivated, more productive and more focused than ever. You'll keep your goal in the back of your minds and actually work towards that. You won't actually escape through all these TikTok and YouTube apps. And yet you consider that relaxation, something that decreases your motivation, decreases your focus, makes you more irritable, makes you more sad. And you still think that it's something to relax. No, these things are creating a hole for you. They're digging the hole of motivation. They're digging a hole of lesson discipline. And as you dig this hole deeper and deeper and deeper, it gets way harder and way harder to get out. And if you keep this up for a while, then it'll be extremely hard to get out. I'm telling you to get out right now and start climbing out of the hole as quickly as possible. Start doing hard things and watch your discipline and motivational level skyrocket. You'll actually enjoy reading books. You'll actually, you'll actually enjoy journaling. You'll actually enjoy going to work even. Your nine to five job is now enjoyable because finally you don't need to escape using all these things. You're actually happy in your current situation. Now, admittedly, you shouldn't be completely happy in your current situation, right? You should be moving forward, but you're happy that you're moving forward. You're happy with yourself because you're making progress. That's what delivers happiness, especially for men, is our progress. Now, if you actually incorporate what I said in this video, then you'll actually get a ton of benefits from it. You'll actually start that business that you've always wanted to start. You'll actually start reading all those books that you've wanted to read. You'll actually start trying to get money. But then you'll get exposed to these things. For those of you who look over your friend's shoulder and see an underage girl shaking your ass on TikTok. For those of you who overhear your friends talking about what kind of porn they like. For those of you whose friends actually offer you a joint while you're watching them smoke the very addiction that you had right in front of you. For those of you who encounter those situations, always remind yourself this, you are not filling a hole, you are creating a hole. You're not escaping with these things. With, because without these things, life becomes something that doesn't need to be escaped. Always remember that and always remember what I told you. With every peak, there's a trough and you will stay in that trough for days to come, maybe even weeks if you spiral out of control. If you like this video, my channel name is him, not because I'm him, but because we are all striving to be him, right? And hopefully I can help you on this journey as I did today. So if you like that message, then do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.